Hey guys, it's the crazy Halloween guy here today. And today I'm going to be showing you Face Ripper Clown. I got him brand new. He had a tag and everything. I already cut it off. But this lady only was, it sold me him for $10. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a review on him. And first I'll show you guys the box. So on his box it says he's 2 feet tall, motion activated, moving head and mouth. Sounds for sound effects, light up eyes. There he is. And then... The side of the box just says Face Ripper Clown with a cool image of him. Now on this side it says, The Face Ripper Clown has escaped the circus and this is his way of taking off his makeup. Hands pull face off to reveal a very sinister surprise and message. Motion and sound activates the movement of the head and mouth. Eyes light up and it talks. Be careful, this clown is out for more than just laughs. And it says distributed by Spirit Halloween. There's another image. So now let's get into the so review. Starting off the review, he has a sensor right here. And then, so he's motion and sound activated, like I just said a bit ago. And then here is his base. It's like all the other face ripper things from Morbid. Yeah, there's the speaker and everything. Yeah, there's this on off button. It goes on off and then the middle is actually off and then off is some other mode. I don't know what it is. But then his his face is like an actual clown face. It's actually kind of detailed. His hands are latex. It's all cloth here. There's like foam, foam. It's all foam around these areas. And then the material seems really nice. I really like his hair. It's made of some a nice like hair type of thing. His face looks really cool. Well, whenever it takes off. I'll show you guys that in a second whenever I do the demo. But yeah, that's what he looks like on the back. So yeah, now, now let's get to the demo. So here's the demo. So yeah, that was his demo. Let me get him to go whenever his face is like right up. So I'm gonna get him to go off again. It's hard to get this guy to go off. His sensor is not very sensitive, which is odd to me. Cause usually Morbid has pretty good sensors. Here, I'll get back to you guys whenever I have his face. So yeah, now I got his face out. So yeah, it looks really, really cool. The mouth has a really good detail. His head's a little smushy, which is, I don't really like that much. The mouth is, I mean, the face is just a very thin plastic. This is all latex up here. His motor and everything just seems to be a giant solid piece that has a little bit of moving action. But yeah, whenever his face moves, as you guys saw in the demo probably, his head likes to go like this. He likes to like shake. It's kind of weird. But I, I like it in a way. But yeah, this guy is really, really cool. But yeah, you guys should also look forward to reviews of the Towering Wailing Ghost. Um, also the Costco, um, Phantom, um, Twilight Twitcher, the Harvester, but my Harvester's broken though. Uh, he just doesn't move, but everything else works. He looks fine. And, um, I'm trying to think of the last one. Oh yeah, it's, um, the Dragon from Home Depot. And also, um, I think I already said the Towering Wailing Ghost, but I'm also getting the Lunging Reaper. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys with those videos soon. Thank you for watching, and happy haunting.